Hey, what is going on everybody? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how Columbia, which is a specific college, has been wanting to bring back segregated graduations. Now, they're doing this in the form of Zoom graduation, but still, I don't I don't think that's a good idea, because I know that a lot of colleges have already tried, and tried to implement certain safe spaces for certain races, which is already getting to the point of segregation, and they've, they've wa they used to want to do segregated uh, graduations pre-COVID. So I just wanted to make this video quickly about this. It's going to be a very short video. I am on vacation when this is being uploaded. This is uh, being up recorded on, I believe, the 16th of March. Yes. So this happened like yesterday. So uh, this, <laughs> this is probably outdated by now, but I figured it's better than nothing. So uh, before I get into the actual video, I just want to say if you guys do like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would really mean a lot. Check me on Twitch and Perler. I started streaming again not that often because I'm very busy with school, but still a little bit again. And yeah, let's continue with this video. So we see here, Columbia hosts six graduation ceremonies segregated by race, sexuality, and income levels. Yeah, it's not just race. I just have sort of sort of do that for the thumbnail. I usually I usually don't make my thumbnails first, but it helped with this because there wasn't many good images for this song. Continuing on, we see curiously described as multicultural. You may have heard of college graduation same way as reserved for blacks, Latinos, or gays in this increasingly segregated times. But how about six graduation same way segregated by race, sexuality, and income level at one university? So Columbia University is off offering virtual ceremonies for Native American, LGBTQA, uh, sorry, LGBTQAIP+, that, that's a weird looking acronym, I usually don't use that one, and Asian Latinx, Black, first generation, or, or low income students of the last week of April described as multicultural graduation ceremonies. I, I, I don't understand any of this. Like, why would being Native American part of the LGBTQAIP movement, being Asian, Black, or Latino, is Latinx? A lot of Latin, Latino people do not like the, the word Latinx. I don't, I don't think I've met a single Latino person in my life that is like that. I've, always, I've asked a lot of them. They always say, that's stupid, or what is that? They don't, they don't believe it's real until I show them, like, what the fuck, that's stupid. So, that, they don't understand that they also go to income level. I, I don't understand any of this. Why would you have separated when we're all Americans? That's what it comes down to. We're all Americans. I, mean, I guess in colleges, it's not all Americans, because there's people from other countries. But the thing is, if you're in America, you, we're America. You, I mean, it's, it's like, we're all like a melting pot. Even when you're not part of, a, you're not, like, legally here, and you're just on a visa, and you're not actually a, c a citizen... You're in America, and we're a melting pot, so we'll embrace you unless you, you stay over, then we gotta get you out. But if you come here for, to learn, or you come here to move here, and you're gonna get your thing, great, we really we embrace you, we love you, America, yeah! So continue on, we see the couple of graduates of Columbia College, Columbia Engineering, General Studies, and Bernard Col College, it's sibling women's college. Students must register by March 21st to get their multicultural graduation gift, such as stoles, tassels, and pins, and by March 21st to be listed as participants. The virtual segregated ceremonies do not replace ceremonies but up for the whole Ivy League university and its individual schools, but rather provide a "quote unquote" more a more intimate setting for students and guests to gather, inc incorporate meaningful cultural traditions, and celebrate the specific contributions and achievements of their communities. End quote. The page said it's not clear when Columbia first disclosed the segregated communities. The latest hedge version of the page is from Friday night. So again, this is being recorded the 16th, so it was last Friday. It was flagged the next day by Marcy uh, Moroki, Senior Researcher at the Center for Social Justice and Graduate Student in Social Policy at the University of Oxford. She says, quote, Racially and sexually segregated graduation ceremonies one of the quote unquote best universities in the world, she tweeted. If you want to know what's going back, what going backwards looks like, this is it. And that's actually interesting that someone for social justice stuff is actually like, wait a minute, this is stupid. That's great. The cheek of calling the multicultural graduation ceremonies when they are literally based on singular cultures. I know, right? You're literally just like breaking them out. You're just saying, we're not, you're not, we're not, you don't matter about being an American. You don't matter about being at this college. It doesn't matter if, if even if you're not American at your college. It matters about your skin color, your economic level, or who you are attracted to. That's so stupid. What we need to be like, guess what? It doesn't matter if you're gay, you're, you're bisexual, you're transgender, you're a lesbian, or you're black, you're white, you're Asian, you're Mexican, you're Indian, you're Native American, you're white. I'm not sure if I said any duplicates, but there we go. Latino, I don't think I said that one, but if you're anything, if you're literally any combination of anything, you can be like a, a black person with rickets, it's transgender, and 
uh, anything else. Do you want to put anything in there? We're all together in this. We are all humanity. We're, we're all people. We gotta all stick together. Especially, you're all going to the same school. Why would you separate it? You're all one together. You went through this whole school experience together and you all came out on top because you graduated. That's what it's about. So again, when you do things like this, it just really hurts, you know, actual, like, I don't even say it. It just breeds more like racism. It, bre it breeds anger and resentment. Because why Why do you need separate things? You can all be together. That's that's what, literally, that's it. So this video is super short. I believe this is going to be like very, very short. Because there's not much to talk about. It's just, I could have made the whole video with this and said, the school is wrong and stupid and racist. I could have literally just done that. But I wanted to give a little, you guys a little bit of kind of stuff. So again, thank you for watching. I love you all. I'm on vacation right now. Quote, quote, vacation because I still have to do work for my school while I'm on my trip but again what can I do and yeah I love you all have a great great break if you're on a break have a great time get your vaccine get your uh, get your masks wear it when you're out stay safe and I love you all see you next video bye everybody